Hey guys, Sim Explore here, and I'm going to be redoing the uh, heat sink and thermal paste uh, installation of my um, i7 H60 um, uh, computer build. Because remember from the overclock uh, video, it was running really high, so I thought I'd go ahead and just double check everything, uh, double check the thermal paste and all that stuff. So I removed the uh, my Noctua. Um, heat sink and actually I'm going to be replacing it with this with, with the uh, Corsair H50 so um, this is uh, I got this back from RMA um, Corsair so now that I have it I'm gonna go ahead and, and use it um, now with removing the heat sink and looking at it I found one thing that could have been the issue of the high temps let me go ahead and show it to you. If you look, there's that big huge gap in the middle where the thermal paste is either, there's no thermal paste or it's really thin, like really, really thin. And if you know anything about CPUs, the, the processing core is actually in the middle of the processor. Um, and then that whole like big thing is just uh, the heat sink where it disperses the heat. Um, so I saw that and I looked at the the cooler itself and also in the middle there's hardly any thermal paste. It's mostly on the side. Now I remember when I did apply the thermal paste I applied it evenly um, on the CPU and I guess by, by putting the CPU on it kind of pushed all that other uh, thermal paste to the side so I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to go, I'm going to just go regular on it. So when I do apply the thermal paste, I'm just going to apply a pea sized dot right in the middle so that um, I can ensure that there's thermal paste in the middle versus just on the sides. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off this thermal paste, remove these uh, mounting brackets from the Noctua and go ahead and start the installation, installation of the H50. So this is the back piece of the um, H50. Uh, this goes over the uh, CPU socket on the back side of the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and install that. All right. So now that I have the uh, back plate of the H50 on on the uh, CPU socket, we're going to go ahead and apply Arctic Silver 5. Um, again, we're going to do just a pea size in the middle of the CPU. that to you that's how it looks like just a little pea size in the middle um, we're not going to spread it we're going to just let the CPU uh, heat sink when it comes down to spread it on its own so that's how we're going to do it
Now I want to make sure that it's tight, but I don't want to secure it too tight to where it's putting a lot of stress on the board, uh, but tight enough to where I know that it's uh, down completely on top of the CPU. So that should do it. Let me give you guys a closer look at it. All right, so let's see here. As you can see, there's a little teeth right here that's on this round piece, which is the um, CPU socket uh, backplate. Or not backplate, but the CPU retention bracket. And those teeth actually go and secure on uh, this part right here. And it has like little grooves right there, which they go right on. I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's a lot of videos out there showing how to mount the uh, CPU heatsink and whatnot. So, all right, so time to put it back into my case and we'll go ahead and see how the temperatures run. Thanks for watching guys. Sticks boy out.